Ziggy Sabaka has had a controversial rookie season after being picked number one overall as a free safety. Some people think he should be rookie of the year due to his turnover numbers, while others think he's dragging his team down by giving up too many big plays. Today, we'll see who Ziggy proves right. We'll be finishing out his rookie season as he tries to lead the Dolphins to the playoffs and hopefully a Super Bowl. Here we are in the home stretch of the season, taking on the Cowboys. Every game right now is very important since we're right on the edge of the playoff picture. And Ziggy's getting tried out the gates. Give me that. That is how we crack this one open, man. So thanks to the pick from number three, we get out to a seven to nothing lead. The Cowboys need an answer, but our boy over the middle comes up with a pick. A terrible start for Dak Prescott and a great start for our offense as we come up with another stop on third down before halftime. And our offense has been completely unstoppable to start this game out. Ziggy's flying all over the field right now. And right before halftime, Dak throws another pick. Can we take this to the house, man? Yes, we can. This is officially a blowout. The Cowboys do finally have a chance to score here, but the receiver's gonna drop it, and Ziggy's in the right place at the right time for the luckiest pick of his career. What are the odds, man? So after that crazy tip drill pick, Coach takes us out, as Ziggy has one of his best games of the season. So with just a couple games left, we're sitting at the four seed in the playoff picture. So Ziggy's feeling pretty good going into a matchup against the Ravens, and he lays down a big hit on the first play. Right now, it feels like we've got some positive momentum, as Ziggy almost comes up with a diving pick there. That would have been crazy. The fact that we got that animation is a good sign of things to come. And Lamar was trying to test us, but we get the sack first. Unfortunately, offense instantaneously turns it over, but we lock down the Ravens anyways. Defense is looking great so far, and we're deadlocked at zero going into the second quarter. But Lamar's got a lot of room here. He is dangerous in open field, but Ziggy gets him. That tackling matchup is definitely going to be something to watch out for today. As Ravens are going play action, Ziggy looks like he's on it, but he can't react. Still a breakup. That was an absolutely perfect ball from Lamar. Otherwise, that was definitely an interception. And we come up with a third down stop. Looks like things are getting a little chippy between these two squads. Offense is finally able to get seven in this defensive struggle. And after another stop, they tack on three. We're going to have a promising lead going into halftime. So going into the third quarter, we got a nice 10 point lead. Lamar's taken off again. This time he makes us miss, but he fumbles it in the process. Our defense continues to ball out today. We're going to get another crack at Lamar here. This time he shrugs us off again. Interesting that the Ravens are going right back to the QB run after the fumble. As that's Lamar's best throw of the day, Ravens are going to get it into our territory. So low-key, this game could get kind of dangerous with a Baltimore score here. And they're coming out with a heavy run. Ziggy had him in the backfield, but gets stiff-armed. So absolutely huge third and 12. And Lamar goes down in the backfield. Ravens are going hurry up to go for it. So fourth and 21. And he's chucking it up deep. What a throw and catch. So this might be trouble, people. Offense not not able to kill the whole clock. Baltimore has a minute to get a touchdown, but after a breakup on third down, this should be the game right here. We've got the biggest fourth down of the season, and they've got a dude wide open. He's streaking down the field, and the Ravens are threatening to score just like that. This is not good. 35 seconds left on the clock, and Lamar is cutting up our zones. We're gonna have to switch to man. Time is running off the clock. Lamar is getting out of the pocket, chucking it up, and he finds his receiver in the end zone for a touchdown. You gotta be kidding kidding me, man. Another absolute heartbreaker in a season filled with heartbreakers. So after that game, we've been knocked out of the playoff picture for now. In the final game of the regular season, we're taking on the Bills, and this is a de facto playoff game because the winner of this one is going to get the final wild card spot. And our offense is thankfully absolutely balling out in this game. Defense has just been holding it down so far. All we really need to do here is not give up those big plays. I was expecting this game to be extremely hard, but for whatever reason, the Bills haven't given us any problem at all. And I thought that was going to be a pick for Ziggy, man. It just gets over our head. One interception is all it takes to effectively end this game. And they're going with the RPO here. Ziggy absolutely kills Diggs. We just got to play some sound goal line defense here and take some time off the clock. And we hit Josh Allen in the backfield on third down. So this fourth and goal will decide the game. But Allen's able to find his dude in the end zone for a touchdown. It doesn't even matter though because offense is able to pick up a huge field goal. And Josh Allen was trying to try Ziggy on the deep route. I was really hoping we'd get a shot at a pick there, but we're gonna get one here. Ziggy jumps the corner route perfectly, and he's gonna have some space to run. Let's go. That's how we close out the regular season, man. We are gonna get out of there with an absolutely massive dub, and we do end up making the playoff as the fourth seed. We'll be taking on the Ravens, as Ziggy ends up winning Defensive Player of the Year. Of course, Defensive Rookie of the Year as well. He finishes the season with 12 interceptions. It is time for one of the biggest games of Ziggy's life under the bright lights here. It's looking like this game's going to be
be another defensive struggle and Ziggy is going to have to play some mistake free football today right after I say that he makes an early mistake in man coverage getting cooked by the tight end we are going to have to be better than that if we want to win a Super Bowl and Ziggy's coming in on the blitz here ends up getting the pressure we don't see that a lot and we got a big time third and long and Ziggy's man gets tried he dives for the interception let's go man Ziggy busting out those terrible dance moves the Sabakas are known for because he makes one of the biggest plays of his life offense is only able to get three but we're feeling good now and on third down we're manned up on the outside why not another man Ziggy absolutely locks down the running back in man coverage two picks from the defensive player of the year in the first half you love to see it and that one almost made it three Ziggy has gotten beat by this tight end a couple times but as long as he's not giving up touchdowns that's okay unfortunately whoever was trying to cover that running back out of the backfield was totally lost and Dobbins is going to score that was pretty much a perfect play call from Baltimore but offense comes up with a very fast touchdown before halftime that's absolutely huge I'm not trying to get cooked by this tight end again but Loki we kind of did though late in the third quarter we're in control of this game but y'all know that can switch around real quick as Ziggy kills Lamar there let's go Ziggy had his fair share of missed tackles on Lamar last game but he gets him good that time he's gonna get the better of him there again as he breaks up the pass so we've got a third and ten the Ravens desperately need a conversion but that pass is way off target but they are actually gonna go for this this is the game right here we're going straight man coverage and our dude down the middle locks it up offense able to get a field goal for a little bit of insurance and we're manned up on this tight end one more time on fourth down but he goes to the other side our teammate swats it down and that should do it we're not done yet though i'm trying to get that third pick of the day lamar's taken off ziggy's on it that's the first sack of his nfl career i believe so we're gonna get out of there with the wild card win thanks in large part to ziggy's two first half interceptions so in the next round we're taking on derrick henry and the 16 and one titans the second round of the playoffs is going to be very difficult to win man the titans have absolutely dominated all season he gets targeted out the gates comes out with a huge hit it is clear that number three came to play in the playoffs this year but we're already having a ton of trouble stopping derrick henry he runs ziggy over there ziggy is not used to getting out muscled like that and he's chasing down Tannehill out of the pocket of course he slides short bro that was one billion percent going to be a forced fumble and the titans pick up a killer first down defense just cannot get off the field right now and on first and goal henry's gonna walk in for an easy touchdown that was a brutal drive and i have a feeling our defense is gonna leave this game battered and bruised but we're gonna come up with a huge pick there number 25 is on it and he's gonna take it to the crib let's go that was exactly what we needed and we're gonna take this into halftime as a tie game this is shaping up to be a classic defensive struggle as it feels like our defense has been on the field most of the game we're going to need some kind of points from our offense at some point and that is not good we get absolutely cooked over the middle gotta make sure this drive ends in no more than three points because i'm just not sure offense has a touchdown in them today so this is gonna be a critical third and six and i thought ziggy was gonna have a shot at that thankfully our dude knocks it away so the titans are going for the long field goal and he misses it let's go probably an assist from the weather there and offense goes down to get an absolutely giant touchdown so suddenly we're in control of this game tennessee might have to start passing the ball a little bit more and they are passing it here once again this defense comes up with a massive turnover if offense can score here we might have this thing they do get us a big three points so that gives us a nice cushion but they're going deep to d hop and he's got it down the sidelines so we got to be careful here tennessee has plenty of time left and the pass game's starting to heat up for them we just got to make sure a solid amount of time comes off the clock and ziggy's just a second late to break up the slam but the drive continues for tennessee they're going no huddle now and uh-oh derrick henry gets the dump off out of the backfield ziggy's not able to make the tackle ziggy is a big dude but not as big as derrick henry and the titans are able to get the touchdown but offense goes ahead and kills the clock we pull off the upset win against the number one team in the nfl we got hot at just the right time and we'll be taking on the chiefs in the acc championship game and we're taking on patrick mahomes for the conference championship and he's already throwing dots offense put us in a really bad position to start out this game and on third down travis kelsey routes us up that is not how we wanted to start this thing out that is not the first time ziggy's gotten cooked by travis kelsey and he's gonna be an absolute force to stop today our offense was thankfully able to get three points but they're gonna have to score for us to win this game we are able to get the stop on third down chiefs are putting together a drive ziggy's able to come off the edge to get his first tackle for loss though hopefully that'll give this defense a little bit of juice going into the second quarter and ziggy's able to create some pressure but mahomes gets it out chiefs are gonna have it first and goal this is really not ideal but kelsey's going up against ziggy again and this time ziggy gets the better of him gets the pick and able to get out to the 25 let's go man patrick mahomes got just a 
little bit too overconfident there. Well, offense not able to capitalize. We need them to start putting touchdowns on the board because this Chiefs offense is really hard to stop. And if we give up a touchdown before halftime, we might just be screwed. Ziggy does come up big there and run support. Feels like we need to come up with another turnover. And we're going to get this to third and one. We'll see if the short yardage defense can do anything here. But Kelsey absolutely cooks our man coverage. After the goal line turnover last time, we'll see what the Chiefs cook up here. They've got a man on the outside. I don't know what's going on with the camera angle, but Tony's going to score. So we head to halftime with a two score deficit. This is looking really tough. If we can't get a stop here, this one will be over and it's not looking good. I believe our only stop on the day was Ziggy's interception. We need to come up with something on this third and two. And we do, man. Number 55 comes up with the pick. Let's go. Offense absolutely needs to get a touchdown here. And they're at least able to push Kansas City back deep in their own territory. But sadly, they're not able to do that. We at least have decent field position now. And that could have been another pick pretty easily. If we can just come up with one interception, we might have a chance. And we're all over the running back screen. So a big time third and 10 here. And we come up with the breakup. Let's go. So he's going to get a chance to do something with the punt return going into the fourth quarter. And he has a lot more space than usual. We're going to cut it to the outside and give our offense pretty good field position. But for whatever reason, it is just not happening for Tua and the boys today. Ziggy's flying in, trying to get the safety, but Mahomes gets it out quick. Our Super Bowl hopes are starting to fade going into the fourth quarter. Ziggy's doing his best to try to force a fumble or something to get us going. But I'm just not sure if today is our day. Ziggy's the last line of defense against the running back. It's stiff-armed in the damn face. And the Chiefs are looking to put this game away with three minutes left. At times, Ziggy gets the better of him. But time is running out on the season. Our only chance is that Mahomes does something stupid here. And of course, he just dimes us up. That should probably do it. Our playoff run comes to an end in the AFC Championship game. But it was a good season, man. Ziggy had his ups and downs, but he fought hard all year. Came up with a big pick in this one. Including the playoffs, Ziggy had 15 interceptions on the year. We're going to try to top that next year. I'll see y'all then. Peace.